morning, everybody. Today is going to be an exciting day. We're getting a giant spider, one of the world's largest spiders. Just going to be building an enclosure, which is cool. I actually have an architect meeting here just in about an hour. Talk about some things on the inside of the building. And, uh, yes, sir. Did you say we're getting another giant spider? Yes, we are, Mike. You're going to love it. It's going to be amazing. I don't think that's possible. It's going to be amazing. Trust me, you guys are going to love it. So, again, lots going on and stuff like that. As always, this heating up, which, by the way, you know, talk about heating up. This is one hot animal right this here. This is actually Neo, of course. She actually looks like she's ready to eat right now. She's like, oh, is it feeding time? Oh, that she doesn't bite me. Come on. Okay, there you go, girl. There are some beautiful snakes in the world. And we have some amazing snakes, but this is definitely one of my favorites. There's no doubt about it. Of course, Neo, the pie. Motley Golden Child Reticulated Python. I mean, what an absolute ripper. Speaking of pies, you know that we got Trinity, one of my favorite snakes of all time, the Pied Burmese Python. Recently, we tried to feed it for the first time yesterday, so what do you say we head over to BHB and see if it ate? Head down to find out if Trinity ate. It's kind of an interesting thing because, you know, I've been breeding Burmese or have been breeding Burmese since I was 18 years old. And the one thing that's really interesting, and I've had this happen a few times, is that the animal hasn't shed, you know? Normally, a Burmese will shed about 10 or 12 days after it's born. We've had it now for a few weeks, and it still hasn't shed its egg shed. Trinity? Good news, she ate. Trinity ate, yeah! That is awesome news, that is so, so cool. Oh my gosh, let's go ahead and take a look at Trinity really quick. And of course, I'm not gonna pick Trinity up because it just ate for the very first time. Again, it hasn't shed, but now that it's eaten for the very first time, oh, it's all that pressure is off. You guys know, hey, I've been doing this for 35 plus years, and yes, I still get stressed out when I get an animal, any animal, but especially an animal like Trinity, the pied Burmese python, and it hasn't fed, I always get really, really stressed out. So we're good to go. I know it's gonna shed here relatively, Soon. Why it's taken so long? Like I said, I've had it happen before with snakes where they almost like skip their first shed cycle and instead of shedding in 10, 12 days, they shed in like six weeks or something like that. But now that she's eating, there's no doubt she's going to go into a I shed. I can't wait to see what she looks like out of the shed because that egg skin is kind of a little glossy. So once she sheds it off, it should be a little bit more smooth and really, really bright. So I tell you what, that is awesome. I forgot to show you guys this other pickup that we got. Look at this thing. Literally the size of my face. I'm super excited about this. Got a new bird ear transplant for the reptarium for healthy looking look at that thing like that is so jay has a surprise for us a new animal jay tell me what you got are you ready i'm ready i'm not sure if i'm ready ah, oh, oh my no oh, that is the biggest salmon bird eater i've ever seen she's huge no <laughs> look at the abdomen on that thing i don't know Gosh. anything except for her name zazu is it chill or is it yeah it like <laughs> it's flighty i think jessica could do it can i get close to the door please <laughs> no i'm gonna throw it right oh. at you that thing is almost the size of the porcupine <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it so big, Jessica? She is so big. There, see? <laughs> She's actually pretty chill. Huh? Yeah, she is really chill. She, she is picking a little bit of hair. I'm like, let go of me. Look at the size of that tarantula. I know, my hand is not quite big enough for her. <laughs> Look at both of them. They got paper towel rolls. Jay, Jay, get in front of us. He's awesome. Yeah, spread your fingers out. <laughs> Brian, can you get my phone? Don't breathe in, because she's kicking hairs. This from the movie. That's literally the same size. From the movie, right? The big mama that... I see spider webs. Just please take it. You guys don't want to see it? Uh-uh. Anyone no. else seeing it just fine? No. That is ridiculous. Dad, why don't you try to hold it? Just put your hand out there. I don't like the urticate. Yeah, you'll be, you're going to be itchy. Back in, honey. Gosh, that's way too bad. That is cool, Jay. That, that thing is cool. So we have Javi, of course, uh, which, by the way, you guys came up with a ton of really cool names, but we ended up deciding on Javi for this guy. He is doing so well. You can see he just loves to snuggle up with us. I honestly didn't know how it was going to go. You know, these guys can be a little bit skittish when they're young. And holy moly, is it awesome to see him just like, I mean, he literally just climbed up on my lap and's like kind of chilling out with me. He kind of finds like comfort people, which is really good. You got to remember when he was down at Blake's, he had his family, he had his mom, his dad, his siblings and stuff like that. And they were kind of his community. Now that he's here, he's kind of looked at us as like we're family, which is exactly what we want to do. So we're trying to really just socialize him a tremendous amount. Let him get used to all the noises, the sounds, the commotion. Here in the next few weeks, we'll probably start bringing him over to the Reptarium during open hours so that he can get used to people. When he gets bigger, he's going to be an absolutely amazing animal. Ambassador. Let's face it, he's amazing now. You love me, Javi. I love you. <laughs> Oh. 
As you guys know, we've been doing a lot of work on the outside of the building, the facade of the building to make it look absolutely incredible. As far as the inside, we mainly have done demo work so far. So today, I'm meeting with my architects and my general contractors, and we're actually going over things like trenching and foundations and how we can start working on building up the inside, getting ready for exhibits to go in, hopefully within the next three to four weeks. So the next thing we have to do here is all the trenching, right? We got tons of plumbing, we got tons of drains. Of course, we have the filtration that we have to have in the ground. We also have foundation for the tanks themselves. So there's gonna be a ton of cement work that has to be done here in the next few weeks. But first, we have to get the drawings from the architect so I can go to the city and get them approved because you can't do the work until it's approved by the city. The trusses are basically all done now. They just have a little bit left, but it looks so cool. I mean, think when you walk through the door, this is gonna be what you see. I mean, it's gonna be painted, but the ceiling's gonna be that high. It's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. I can't wait to see it done. Kind of cool. And again, we're gonna be standing right now. We're standing in the beginning of the Repterum right now. Basically, this Bowser's pond's gonna be right over there. This will be a turtle pond standing right next to me, and you'll walk through here, which is really Cool. And of course we have the pond getting going too. So we have this retaining wall right here that basically is just going to hold all the material and falling back this way because obviously the windows are going to be right here, right? And then of course the waterfall will be up here and we're basically using some universal rock to build up here so that it carries the theme of the universal rock from inside to outside as well. So the actual waterfall will be a universal rock block. Six foot tall coming down here, coming into here and into the pond area. So uh, again, moving along. Step. We've got Zazu here that we got from Nature Boy Adrian. I need to get her moved out of here. So here, take her and put her somewhere, please, Jake. Okay. So pretty much last night I went to cut into this and it was still wet. We we're gonna go ahead and start doing all the silicone and just, you know, make this look more cohesive and not like a bunch of foam. To say that I'm obsessed with Sid and Javi, the porcupine and the capybara would be an understatement. I tell you, I couldn't even sleep last night. I couldn't wait to get into work today to just see how these guys are doing. I mean, look at how cute they are. And they're both settling in so well. They're eating, they're going to the bathroom, they're chilling out, they love to hang out with people. I mean, they are gonna be such great animal ambassadors. That was the whole thing about getting these guys now, really get them docile, right? We wanted to get as young as we possibly could so that they could bond with us. Be really, really good around socializing with people. So we have a handful of months to mess with these guys to get them super super tame but i mean how cool is it going to be to come and interact giant with giant porcupine or interact with a capybara or whatever other mammals because we've got a couple other things coming here in the near future too so stay tuned for that i tell you what this guy is crazy and sid i mean you're a rock star so that part's all done now we just have to let everything dry and tomorrow we'll put some plants in here dude it looks awesome jess good job yeah. So they're like the ledges and stuff that are in here. Now, do you think she'll use those, climb up a little bit? She I know she's might. a big spider. She's pretty big, but I think she'll be able to climb up a little bit. Oh, that'd be cool. It'll be super high off the ground because you got to remember oh, some the ground's going to be like right here. Along with everything else that's going on today, we actually have the local news, Detroit Free Press, that's out doing a little bit of an article and a photo shoot. So they're just tagging along. So I'll just add another thing to my day. tarantula enclosure we just need to pick out some plants so i like this plant yeah, rack yes. no, i finally got the plants out of the middle of my new cal room so <laughs> which is nice um let's see what we got here i definitely wanted to use a pothos enjoy because i haven't used one of them yet grab two of them um, i want to maybe these little burns these i don't know how to say this i think it's like a lagamina, a lagamina, uh, probably wrong. <laughs> yeah, these ones are cool. I got all of these off of one plant. It just like shoots out babies every once in a while. So these, and I like this guy. I know I've talked about these before. They're really nice. It's called a prayer plant, but they're really easy to grow in terrariums. They like a lot of humidity. All right, let's get this all set up. It's been a minute since I've showed you my buddy Elvis. You know, he's an absolutely incredible animal. You guys know that I love him to death. And he's just out running around a little bit, getting his out of the cage time. He loves this right here. Usually when it's sunny, actually in the afternoons, the sun comes right through the store. He comes over and he actually sunbathes here. But unfortunately, uh, it's a rainy day today, so he's not getting any sun. But as a creature of habit, he still comes to the door because he likes to do that. Plus, he actually likes to look outside as well. I like filming with Jessica, honestly. You know, it's. 
down to the point. We should maybe start a Jessica like and our side Je channel or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, but still in this channel, but our own side channel within yeah. this. Jessica start and Jay. See, I'm she's, all this. she's literally <laughs> doing it already. She's like, Jay, shut up. Can we just film this piece? Okay. Okay, grab the amethyst out of there. Oh, you're putting that in? Yeah, yeah we have to. It relieves stress. <laughs> it does. It does. That's so funny. You want to feel centered, you know? Yeah. Wow. Woo. Jay, you got this, right? You think he's got it? I mean, I'm on standby if he doesn't. <laughs> he's got it, though. We held her yesterday. I inhaled some. You look like a ninja turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I inhaled some eradicating hairs yesterday. Some eradicating hairs? <laughs> hair's gonna eradicate. So, Jessica, we're gonna call. It's gonna eradicate you? Yeah, eradicating. It's actually so good. I know. She doesn't really dart my advice. Come on. Here, did you wanna get a picture with I, her? I really did. Is this a bad time, Jay? Rolling. Rolling? Yeah. <laughs> I don't... It's doing a way... Oh, Jessica, can you just help me? She webbing on you? A little bit? Her fangs, Watch her bite you. I, her fangs are literally... Jessica, please get off her. I don't want her to bite you if I try to move her. <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally... Okay. So we got her in her new home. It looks, looks great. She looks happy. Jessica, you did an amazing job. Thanks. <laughs> the smarter thing for us to do in this situation is to actually put on some eye pro. Yeah. Because her hair like floats up. I'm already itchy all over the place. <laughs> I can actually like feel it in my throat already. Are you glad like, you stayed over there? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's crazy how much things have changed over the last week. I knew it was coming, you know, because it's all this planning, 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 and then execution. So now things are really heating up and it's absolutely awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember... Oh, we got some tacos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs>